Hey everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you for joining me on what I say is the collector car series. And you say, well, Tone, how does a car become a collector car series? And I say, you know what, that's a great question. Thank you for asking. And I'll say to you, well, when you have low production, an expensive car, a beautiful car, right? Uh, and some features on a car that most other cars do not get, you know you have something different. And when you have something different, those are the cars that typically continue to go up in value. For instance, like, uh, uh, fuel injected Corvettes, right? Early C1s and C2s for, uh, for some of that stuff there, high horsepower things. Those are the things that make cars because there's less of them and they're different than everything else. And that's exactly what we have here. We're gonna spend some time walking around looking at this beautiful car. I mean, beautiful. If you think it looks great in pictures, we do the video so you can really see what you're getting. And I'm gonna tell you by the time we're done, uh, I think you're gonna need to find a way to get it in your garage. All right, so what makes this car so special? Well, first off, it's a lever longa, which uh, is Italian for long lever. That's the shifter, right? The shifter is longer, so there were very early cars that were that. Plus, this one here also is the aluminum paneled car, right? You're like, Tone, an aluminum paneled car? Like, that they did that back then? Let me tell you something. You find some of these exotic cars, uh, the early 60s vintage Lamborghinis, Ferraris, Bizzarinis, like all of these cars that had some aluminum panels versus other ones that did not. Those cars are worth five times more than everything else. And here's how, uh, first off, we use an electronic meter to verify that. So we verified that the hood, the doors and the trunk, uh, all of those panels there are aluminum, right? And you're like, wow, that's pretty cool. Why? Because it's much lighter. Why? Because the lighter the car, as Colin Chapman said, uh, that at own Lotus, he said, will add lightness to the car, right? And that'll make it go faster, which is a cool thing. So here, real quick, you can hear the difference between steel panels and aluminum panels without me even getting the paint meter out to, to show you that. So you hear this. And it's just a very, very different sound. And that's how we know. Right? So we got that there. Paint quality. Well, this car has been beautifully restored. A fortune was spent on this car. What you're paying for this car is less than the cost of the restoration and you got a free car as well because they had to buy the car and restore it, but this was in a collection for a long time. We are finally able to get it out of there and get it here. I'm telling you, man, the likelihood of you running into this car again at any car show, any cars and coffee, any swap meet is very, very slim, especially an aluminum panel car. Lastly, I like to talk about paint quality because while pictures can be manipulated, video can and and here we're going to look at something we're going to learn a lesson about paint let's not look at the shininess of the paint because that's what most people do they look at that what i want you to look at is what's in the paint so meaning the ceiling the lights these letters so if you look inside here you can see the whole ceiling the ribs in the ceiling the lights crystal clear and then you can also see these letters like look how clear and crisp each letter is the less crisp it is, the more blurred the letters are, the less shiny the paint will be in real life when it gets to you. And this right here we can tell is Fabo, which is Italian for, whoa, really nice. All right, we find we have two different styles of clients here that, that, that get these kind of cars. Ones that just want a great car, they want to get in, they want to go enjoy it. Other people want to take it to car shows, uh, cars and coffee and things like that. You can do both with this. You can either just enjoy it and not do anything and just do your thing, or you can take it to places and show it off. And I want to show you why you can show it off, okay? First off, the hood is so light because it's aluminum, right? Just very different. Here we have the original uh, decal here, but everything has been painted, detailed, and covered. I opened this up here so you could see uh, the wiring that's there. This is kind of cool because it keeps this uh, protected. And then the engine is dressed up. This right here is a texture coating. These engines are amazing. Let me explain to you why they are. So a, a Bentley has a W12 engine in it, right? And like, and it's, and it's super short, right? It's super short and narrow uh, for a reason. It's compact. And if you ever look at a Bentley front end, it's always very short, right? It gives them room inside the car. The same goes here. This engine is very compact for a four cylinder. It's the size of a three cylinder. Why? Because they stagger the cylinders, right? And you get that there so you can see that they're all next to each other and sandwiched in there. This has a polished uh, header exhaust system, free flow. The engines has more power. 
these carburetors have been upgraded. Uh, these are Solexes, but they've been upgraded as well. Uh, the box is not just painted, but it's clear coated and then it has the decal on it. You may say, Tom, why are you, why are you running on about a stupid decal on the box? Well, I'm saying to you, it's not the decal on the box, it's the effort and the detail that goes into these little things, right? This is painted beautifully, new uh, radiator cap. These hose clamps right here, these hose clamps right here are 10 times the price, 10 times the price of a regular hose clamp. We say, well, tell them, what does a hose clamp matter, right? How much is a hose clamp? That's not my point. My point is that they did all of these things. This is the kind of car you're getting. These are the little detail stuff you need to be looking at. When we're talking about exotic cars like this with aluminum panels, rare lever, uh, lever longa cars, um, you want to finish the car. This is the, this is the finish. This is wearing the tuxedo, but putting the tie on as well, right? These little tiny details we see all painted nicely in here. VIN tag in place, the wiring. Uh, this knows that the, uh, that the hood is open. This has a, uh, a light on uh, that we have unplugged over there so that it doesn't, so that you can show this off without wearing down the battery. And then this right here, this is the key, man. This like, so nice. Little tiny things before I let you run. Okay, we move on to the next part is why is this car so nice? Well, this is new and polished. That's been polished and new. The wiper arms are polished and new. The mirrors are polished. The bumpers are polished. Like all of these little things, the restoration is just fabulous. All right, so check out the pictures uh, online of the undercarriage of this car. It is beautifully done. The exhaust is fabulous and it sounds really, really good, especially with the header uh, and stainless exhaust on the way back. But all of these little detail stuff like these uh, emblems here, these are new or polished, right? New taillight lenses, new uh, bezels. I put the lights on so you can see like the tag lights work. And you say, well, Tom, why do you, well, what does a tag light working you have to do? Every tag light work. And I say, no, that's not true. They do not. Nine times out of ten, they never work, right? So getting a car like this, and we didn't repair that, it came that way, that's my point, is that this detail stuff is done. And then we get inside here, and this is actually a functional car. It's a sports car, but it's a functional car. This super light, because it's aluminum, right? Works like it's supposed to, okay? I like to spend a minute on the trunk, and the reason why is because this is a shortcut area that people take when they don't, that when they're just trying to flip a car. This is beautifully done. It's painted the correct color, black in here. This is painted the way it's supposed to be. This is aluminum, right? It has a spare. It has a jack. It has an extra spark plug in here, right? Just in case you needed something like that. I love that fact that Europeans uh, always put those kinds of things in cars for if they get stuck on the side of the road, uh, it's an easy fix. The latch uh, works the way it's supposed to. You just push that back up and it does its thing. Boom. And it's just so light that you actually have to push it back down. It's very much like a Porsche hood. All right, so a couple things before we, uh, before we move on inside where you're gonna spend most of your time is that this car here, while it is beautiful, still has some things to make some changes for if you wanted to. I'm not suggesting you need to change anything. For instance, uh, these rims could be painted silver if you'd rather have them body colored or silver and you didn't love the gold. This stripe is removable or we could put a gold stripe on that matches the wheels. Like these little touch things that you can do when you're walking up to your car to make it your own. We're happy to, to talk about that along the way. But what we care about mostly is the dollar spent on the inside. And so when you get in this car, and let's get in here and talk about that. When you get in this car, you're getting everything that you got outside, you're getting inside. All beautifully restored, all new uh, interior from foams inside here. Otherwise, this you wouldn't get this curve in these seats. Look at this Italian interior. It's just a beautiful interior. Again, little stuff like this is what makes cars so great looking. Like a lot of people say, that's a great looking car, but you don't really know why. This is why. Like these chrome pink rings right here for the ventilation system, the wood dash, full array of gauges, right? 7,000 RPM tack and a 200 kilometer speedometer, right? Uh, that is uh, Wowza. Heating climate control system. You got the lever here. Now, why is it called a lever longa? Well, because the other levers that came later on were shorter. This is called a long lever, right? And that's how you got it to move through the gears. 
Boom. Uh, lastly, you got the wood wheel with the polished stainless. Um, I go on and on about these cars, but like for instance, like you could go somewhere in this car, there's a lot of room. You can slide the seat up and a whole nother couple can go with you to dinner. You could take the kids somewhere. Uh, you could go to dinner in the car as well. It's like a functional real sports car that you could use. And uh, I just smile because I just know some cars are just more beautifully restored than others. And that's exactly what we have here. All right, so we close up the video. I challenge you to this. Find another one like it. Find another one like it. And I just tell you, I do this every day, all day. It's what I do for a living. These cars like this, with these features and this book of restoration, these receipts for this car. This is a beautiful nut and bolt. I don't want to say it's a brand new car because there's no such thing as a brand new car if it's not brand new, right? But this is as close to a brand new car as you're ever going to get. It drives the way it's supposed to. It sounds even better than it did in 1968. It's more powerful than it was in 1968. And it just makes me smile to think about driving down the road in this car. People go crazy over it because they've never seen one, right? They've never seen one here in the U.S. And we carry these all the time. Why? Because they are great driving cars. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll find a way to get it out of our garage into your garage. All right. Also, too, if you don't mind, hit the like button down below. That helps us get the message out. Subscribe to the channel. We have new stuff coming out all the time. And maybe share this uh, with your friends. They might like to see this video, too. And I'll see you on the test drive.